Hey fam, it's Miss Renee the Barber. A mushroom pizza. And we're using our portobello, our large portobello mushroom caps. We've prepped our garlic. Now let's prep our onion. We're not gonna use much, just a little bit. Now, we're using our onion basically as a topping. So, we've got our garlic and our onion. All right, so we've rinsed off our grape tomatoes. So we're just gonna slice them. These are our toppings. We're gonna use these as our topping. And we're not gonna use that many. So I only have three, because I'm only making two mushroom pizzas. We're not going to use that many. We'll just layer them up there and chop them. I probably could do that with my core, but I'm just cutting it into fourths, quarters. Now, all of our toppings are ready. So let's um, get ready to prep the mushroom. All right, so these are our mushrooms that we're using. We're going to turn them over and we're going to take the center out. All right, so we're just going to take that out. Just be gentle with it. We can save this for something else. But you don't have to go deep like this. You don't have to. I just want to open that up a little. Remember, do not rinse your mushrooms because mushrooms hold a lot of water. So right now what we're getting ready to do is we're going to put it in the oven just for 10 minutes to try and get all that moisture out before we top it and melt the cheese. So in order to do that, we are going to start out with a little bit of olive oil. We're going to put our olive oil on our mushrooms. A little there. Awesome. We're going to put a little um, garlic powder on there. great and then we're going to add our garlic that we've already chopped put that on now all we have to do is put them on our baking dish and we're going to slide one there and slide one there all right then we're going to put them in the oven for 10 minutes at 375 degrees. Wow, look at all that moist, look at all the moisture in there. So we're gonna have to get rid of that moisture. Because no one wants a soggy pizza, right? Nobody wants a soggy pizza. Okay, great. So next thing we're going to do is we're going to put some pizza sauce on there. Let's put our toppings on. We'll put some onions on first. These are onions. Spread them around. 
whatever topping you like on your pizza. If you don't like onions, don't put onions on. Because I know somebody's already saying, Miss Renee, you already lost me when you put those onions on. <laughs> so sorry. Let's put our tomatoes on. We'll put, we'll put a little piece in the middle. There we go. Now you can top with all, whatever your favorite topping may be. Use your favorite toppings. We'll put one little small one in the middle. There we go. Now let's put our um, pepperoni on. If you like. I like black olives too, but unfortunately I don't have any, but we'll put our pepperoni on. Alright, that's enough pepperoni, right? Or just skip a space where over here. Alright. We want to take our pepperoni to the edge, right? <laughs> All the way to the edge. All right, so we got our pepperoni. We got our toppings on. Now let's just season a little bit. Of course, I'm going to put some Italian seasoning on. Awesome. A um, little bit of salt, not much. Because I'm sure that the pizza sauce has already got sodium in it. Alright. And then we've got our black pepper. Awesome. And, you know, I like fennel seeds. So, fennel seeds. Great. Now let's top it with our cheese. Mozzarella. One thing I like about this baking dish, that this baking liner, actually, the liner. I love it. I love it. You can get this at, I think you can get this at Target. I got it at the Restaurant Depot. I think it was like $12, but it's worth it. It is worth it. I don't have to worry about cleanup and mess. See how I'm loading up the cheese. But just to make it look kind of nice, I'm just going to put some more Italian seasoning on there. Alright, that's it. Let's put it back in the oven. And we're just putting it back in the oven to melt the cheese. Okay? So that's going to be about three minutes. This is so good. I want you to see the meaty of the, the mushroom. The meatiness of the mushroom. Look at that. Yeah. Mm. 